All right, let's continue. This is Isaiah chapter 21, verse 2 now. A dire vision has been shown to me. The traitor betrays. The looter takes loot. Elam, attack. Midday lay siege. I will bring to an end all the groaning she caused. At this, my body is racked with pain. Pains seize me like those of a woman in labor. I am staggered by what I hear. I am bewildered by what I see. My heart falters. Fear makes me tremble. The twilight I long for has become a horror to me. I also feel this way as well. You know, my heart falters. These fears make me tremble. But, you see, I don't fear what men fear. You understand? I fear the Most High. I tremble at His Word. You see that? That's my fear that makes me tremble. I fear misleading people. That's the things that I fear. The wicked don't fear the Most High. They don't care because they don't tremble at His Word. You see that? So this is what's going on in, in each and every one of us. Who are serving the most high wholeheartedly these are the emotions you we're going to be going through our heart falters our mind reels because why because of the curse that is upon the earth because of the things that humanity have to go through because of those who wanted to corrupt humans the twilight i long for has become a horror to me do you see why the Most High says that Azazel and his associates, the rest of the Watchers, they have revealed the eternal secrets which men were striving to know. The scripture says, I was the first to tell Tezaya one. Look, here they are. I have given them a messenger of good news, right? And so since that messenger of good news has come forth, through the word of the Most High, Yahweh, the twilight I long for has become a horror to me. You see that? This is the reason why the scripture says that they repay me evil for good. For the Most High says that he has put a messenger here to tell the people good news. But they have made a scheme this reverse psychology they made it where when i was going to be here born into this existence when the most highest word was going to come to pass people would reject this people would never believe it you see that you see why the most high Yahweh says that only a remnant is going to be saved it's not going to be because the most high is evil and wicked it's going to be because people are not going to be willing to believe. Instead, they're going to be willing to hang on to the lie and the false hopes that they already have. They're never going to be able to understand that what they believe was done through witchcraft, through the watchers and fallen entities, manipulating timelines. As we read, as we brought out in Numbers 24 and 17, and we'll bring it out again in this video. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Yasharal. He will crush the foreheads of Moab, the skulls of all the people of Sheth. It's the same vision that we read about in Isaiah. So, you know, they were able to manipulate timelines. And we have to deal with this. But it's only for the moment, like the Most High Yahweh says. The triumph of the wicked is but a moment. See, Satan had his rule. We're living in times now where Satan's rule is coming to an end. And so, his associates, right? That mighty mountain. What are you? You will be destroyed beneath the feet of the elect ones. Okay, so now we're going to read Isaiah chapter 28, verse 1. Woe to that wreath, the pride of a poem's drunkards. You see that? To all of my Taino brothers and sisters. 
They just had day parade day, didn't they? The other day. They was out there, proud to be Puerto Ricans. And besides Puerto Ricans, you know, every other time there's always a parade for each tribe or each people out there to be proud. All right? But they just so happened to put the Puerto Rican Day Parade in the same month, which they like to do Pride Day Parade. That's why these videos had to come out in this month. That's why things had to happen. Because the Most High says that human pride will be brought low. You see that? Puerto Rican pride, Jamaican pride, white power pride, black power pride, any kind of pride, human pride will be brought low. Why? Because as is El Lucifer, Jesus was the first. You see that? He was the first to be proud, to want to do this and want to do that his way. See that? So woe to that wreath, the pride of Apollyon's drunkards, to the fading flower, his glorious beauty, set on the head of a fertile valley. To that city, the pride of those laid low by wine. Now, I'm showing you this so that you may understand, you know, what we're going to talk about coming up. The Most High said throughout his people's rebellion, he has always been compassionate and merciful to them. Okay? So now look at this. See, Yahweh has one who is powerful and strong, like a hailstorm and a destructive wind, like a driving rain and a flooding downpour. He will throw it forcefully to the ground. Okay? So this is another scripture showing you that they already had future insight of a messenger of someone the Most High was going to send here on the earth okay one who is powerful and strong you see that they was able to put the pieces to the puzzle and manipulate the timelines that's what they were able to do but not no more now <laughs> like it says the sun will go dark for them but Yahweh will be our light now is the time when they fall because of why because of their pride you see that they wanted to rise up to the stars of heaven they wanted to be like the most high and so now they fall this is why it says pride comes before what before a fall and so this is what shall befall them now okay all of the watchers and all of human pride this is the reason why you are given this warning, this final warning. Do you understand that? Because for the Most High Yahweh will put me here. He put me here to deliver a message unto people to, you know, give them good news, not bad news. That was never, you know, the intentions behind all this. The Most High never intended so that you may understand judgment, so that you may be cursed. It was always intended so that you may want to serve the Most High. Be happy for what Yahweh was going to do in these times and in these days. That was the plan. That's why we're going to read in Isaiah 61 and 6. The spirit of the sovereign Yahweh is on me. Because Yahweh has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim freedom for the captives. And release from darkness for the prisoners. You see that? That's what the Most High put me here for. Let me show you what else. To proclaim the year of Yahweh's favor and the what? And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. You see that? Some of you may not believe me, and it's fine. June 7th, 2023. Mark that down in your calendar. That's the day Azazel got sacrificed into the fire. You see that? The day of vengeance of the Most High. The day that the earth will start to heal. 
human pride will be humbled in these times and in these days but I wanted to show you this because it goes hand in hand with what we were reading in Daniel chapter 7 verse 6 and after that I looked and there before me was another beast one that looked like a leopard so this hex that is put upon the messenger of the most high it is basically so that when I was put here I may condemn everybody because why because everybody already believes in something else you see what I'm saying those are the spots on the leopard okay so I know what the most high put me here to do and this is the reason why I stick to what I have to stick to this is why I have to continue to believe in what I have been believing in and share it with you all okay because this is what has happened they have put hexes and 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 you know they have cursed the stars of the most high they intend for us to do evil when we are put here in the flesh and see that but this is why the most high gave you warnings and messages and left you a little clues and hints to what he was going to do in the future though they were all hidden from us but now is the time when you gotta be able to put these things together in your mind so that you may be able to see the full story so that you may be able to see what has been done to you so that's why it says to proclaim the year of Yahweh's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn because plenty of people are gonna mourn right we already talked about those who mourn in the streets those who mourn in the streets are the people who have been beaten because why because they went to the house of their friends remember that we don't got to get that scripture but that's what it says these whips are from the house of my friends remember that so they go to these houses right which cannot save them and they have not entered the true house of the most high for the most high says that my house shall be a house of prayer for all nations but instead they want to go to the house of their other gods that are not gods okay so you know this is what we do this is what i was put here to do to comfort all who mourn this is why i cannot reject religious people who want to see my videos they don't have to like it they don't have to comment but if they want to watch they're free to watch this is why i have to reach out to them using what they also understand the same way certain brothers and sisters only may understand what they know from the old testament but there are those who are not on the level that you brothers and sisters are to understand certain things and they only know it from their perspective and so this is the reason why they have to understand it the way Yahweh was going to make them understand it so that they can get the picture as well like it says and provide for those who grieve into Zion one to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes you see that that's what I had to show you here because the word of the most high can turn you into ashes we know that but I'm not put here to condemn you I am not gonna feed into Satan's plan remember the third beast had four heads had spots like a leopard so that's the hex that they want me to be they want me to be angry to be hateful but I'm not gonna feed into that and see that so instead of ashes you will get a crown of beauty if you only believe in this word that has come forth if you only understand that Yahweh your God has no image has no form for he is the ancient of days as is the oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair because the people who are continually waiting for their savior to come and to bring them somewhere else you think that's a garment of praise no I mean you know in their eyes they're gonna 
think that that's a garment of praise but of course we are praising our Lord and Savior of course we're gonna be caught up with him in the clouds but it's really a spirit of despair because that's what your oppressors have given you and taught you you see that despair so it says instead of all of that if you truly believe with your heart and understand with your mind they will be called oaks of righteousness a planting of Yahweh for what for the display of his splendor you see that because ultimately that's what it was about Lucifer wanted to make himself like the Most High Azazel wanted to be the chief of praises he wanted everything everyone to praise him well you know what they say they leave the best for last this is why this is happening because Yahweh was gonna get his praises now you see that many people are gonna turn to the Most High and understand they have been lied to however they bump into these videos or however the Most High reveal his word that has come forth but they will see it like it says the wisdom and the glory of the Most High will be revealed to all peoples this is from the book of Enoch chapter 68 verse 2 and on that day Michael answered Raphael and said the power of the Spirit transports and makes me to tremble see that as we read in Ecclesiastes when the keepers of the house tremble we're living in those days the power of the spirit transports and makes me to tremble because of the severity of the judgment of the secrets the judgment of the angels who can endure the severe judgment that has been executed and before which they melt away and we'll continue in the next part